Welcome to the instructional video for the Oracle Gold Tester, the most advanced and accurate gold testing meter on the market today. There are two modes of operation for the Oracle Gold Tester, external mode and battery power mode. When the AC adapter is plugged into the Gold Tester and the mode select switch is placed in the external setting, the gold meter will boot up. The 36 LEDs on the classification scale will illuminate, flash twice, and the ready indicator will remain illuminated, indicating that the meter is ready to be used. In addition to the meter itself, the other vital component is the pen probe. It should be securely plugged into the jack on the right side of the meter as shown. The probe is a unique and patented electrochemical sensing device which, when properly used, will provide months of continued use. The meter is calibrated by taking a known piece of 14 karat gold that has been filed at the point to be tested to ensure that the gold is adequately exposed. Touch the filed spot of the 14 karat sample and press the calibration button. Note that the green calibration light illuminates. At this point, the green LED indicators will calibrate the meter on the center of the 14 karat scale. The operator should file or scratch the sample in the area to be tested. Then, place the pen probe on the point that has been filed. Note the reading on the LED scale, in this case, 10 carats. Again, the sample should be taken, filed, and touched securely with the pen probe. In this case, the sample is 18 carats. A slight oscillation of the LEDs could be noted as the sample is tested and generally a steady reading should occur if the pen probe is working properly. Now the operator is testing platinum. Note the green LEDs under the PT indicator illuminate indicating platinum. The operator now takes a piece of a gold coin that has been filed, touching it with the pen probe and securely holding it to the gold test pad. We see the blue indicators for 22 carat illuminate. As samples are tested, a residue will form on the felt tip of the pen probe. It's important to wipe the tip to remove residue that may have accumulated. It's also important to keep the gold test pad clean throughout the testing process. Keeping the cap on the pen when not in use will ensure a number of months of accurate use. Failure to do so will cause the salt solution to crystallize, rendering the pen inoperable. When the pen has lived out its useful life, the replace probe light will stay illuminated in the calibration process. The replace probe light will go out when a valid pen is calibrated. It is important to note that every pen needs to be calibrated before use with the Oracle Gold Meter. If base metals such as copper, zinc, or nickel are placed on the gold pad, the indicating scale will immediately travel to the red NA indicator at the end of the scale. If a gold coin is touched, you can note that its representative weight will be indicated. The change battery light will indicate when it is time to replace the battery. To change the battery, simply insert a standard 9 volt battery in the compartment on the rear of the tester. The mode select switch should be moved to the battery position, and the tester will boot up as before. A small AC adapter is available for the Oracle Gold Tester as shown. It should be plugged into a wall receptacle with the opposite end plugged into the Gold Tester with the functional switch in the off position. Once connected, the functional switch can be moved to the on position and the gold meter will boot up as before. Proper calibration of the Oracle Gold Meter on a known sample of 14 karat gold performed on a regular basis throughout daily testing will ensure meter accuracy. Proper use and maintenance of the pen probe and meter will give the user a valuable and effective way of measuring many types of gold and platinum samples over the lifetime of the meter.